Hello and welcome to this video on Songbird. Songbird is um, an application for Windows, Mac and Linux and it is a media playing application like iTunes or Windows Media Player. The great thing about Songbird is it is also a web browser so it matches up the internet with media player so it's kind of like iTunes meets Firefox. So for example here I click file and new tab and I can actually type in a web address and there we go, I've got um, Google Island up here and I can do a Google search you can use it as a web browser, you've got tabs and it's also a great um, media player so this is the way it looks by default there's, so, there's a lot of add-ons you can get for it and I've customised mine so I'm going to show you what mine looks like now the moment look kind of boring, it looks kind of like iTunes but even more boring than that and um, you can change the media view and you can download add-ons the, here, here's a media view called Media Flow, which is a lot like Cover Flow in iTunes. Um, and then you can have these display panels, like here where you have your album art in, say, iTunes. It's actually a display panel, and album art, album art is the application running in that display panel. And then I can have pop up this display panel here. So I can pop down this one, pop it up. I can pop up the display panel here, and then I've got this application called or this add-on called Mash Tape. It shows me photos of the current artist. Um, you can catch news, reviews of their albums, artist info. It's nice to have even videos. It's nice to have photos where you listen to the music and you have photos of the band going by. And then I can even pop out another, another bar here. And here I have lyrics. So if I start to play a song, for example, it's your next song. Lyrics pop up. You have photos, lyrics. So the model looks a bit cluttered, but you don't have to have all these add-ons on. You could just have, say, just the media flow view and just the album art. Kind of get the iTunes look. And then you can also change the the theme or the skin. But they actually call them feathers. Same as in Songbird, they use the word feathers. Um, I'm just gonna put on Sheen. It's very similar to the default theme. It's just got a a shiny look to it, as you can see. Um, other things that you can do in Songbird, you've got um, Last FM. If you have a Last FM account, you can log into that. Um, at the moment, I think, no, it's back up. Last FM was down a while ago. I can listen to my love tracks. Loads my Last FM station. Being a little bit slow. We'll try to load my neighborhood. Well, that's, that's being a bit slow at the moment, but you've also got um, concerts. You can see concerts of artists that you can just select the country you live in. Unfortunately, it's kind of limited. I live in Ireland and it's not listed, but you could just like then choose your state and then it basically finds artists, find shows that are going to be playing near you of the artists that are in your library. So it's processing now. It's a little bit slow too. But it is processing through every track in my library and seeing if any of the artists of those tracks are playing. Which is kind of cool. And then we got Coldplay playing I don't even know where, I somewhere in, in, in the United States I chose. Randy Coldplay are playing there. Nickelback are playing there soon too. With Hinder and Saving Abel. That sucks because I don't live there. But, um, Shoutcast, you've also got Shoutcast Radio. Which is, does tons of online radio stations you can listen to. Play it's just like you get any media player, highest rated, most rated. And then you've got bookmarks, which are essentially just like, bookmarks in say Firefox, Songbird add-ons, which is a website where you get add-ons for Songbird. But I could add I could add like YouTube to, to them bookmarks if I wanted to. I could essentially use Songbird as my default internet browser. I wouldn't like to though, but I could if I wanted to. Um, but it's it's a pre pretty decent uh, media player to just play a song. It's specifically for music however, even though I'm calling it a media player, it just doesn't play video or anything. 
Well, it, it, it does really well. It's also another add on I've got for you. It's even got a um, live tweeter. This isn't coming by default. I installed this and you can tweet the song you listen to. Also, this here, this little plus, you can add a tab. That was an add on I installed. And there's so many add ons for it and themes and skins. It's great. It's a lot like Firefox. You know, the whole customizability. You know, you can make it the way you want it. But really, it's just. It's a very iTunes, iTunes looking MP3 player, sorry, music player, in my opinion it looks a lot like iTunes, even though you can customise it the default layout. So if you're used to iTunes, if you ever used iTunes or if iTunes is what you use now, I recommend you try it Songbird because it's, it's very similar to iTunes so it won't be that hard to get used to. But also on top of that you're also going to get a web browser and so much other cool stuff. And then you've got a search bar up here even. Um, you can add different search filters, like, well not filters, but different search engines, like Google doesn't come by default, which is kind of weird, but you can add that, so you can actually use it as a web browser and have Google search bar up there, you can search YouTube, I search Screamer, this used to come by default in the alpha, back when it was um, alpha songbird 0.6, but I think they removed it for copyright reasons, but Screamer is great, you can just type in an artist, like, Coldplay, you can do this on the web too, by the way. Uh, screamer you, is it, it's just loading a website but it's cool when you have it in, implemented right in the player and then um, if you're on the web you just right click the file and click save link as but in screamer it's great because you can actually hit download this little box pops up and you hit download it'll start downloading in your downloads box which is really cool and there's other websites you can download music off um, Pretty much that's pretty much it. It's just a, a really good a really good music player. If you if you're kinda sick of Windows Media Player or you're sick of iTunes or you just want something that allows you to customize your player to the way you like it, you're sick of looking at iTunes, you're sick of looking at the, the team of iTunes, and you want something that looks the way you want it, the custom teams and you want add ons to really really be able to have the have things that you want like you want like where you, in iTunes the media player you have plugins but like you can really only like run like the lyrics plugin in Windows Media Player you have to run that under the now playing you can't stay in the library which why 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 restrict you to that where in Songbird you can have a little application in the sidebar your lyrics gone why 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 should I have to change to a different view mode just to check that out. I uh, got you know other cool things that you'll even get in iTunes and Windows Media Player and other add-ons similar to this, but they're not implemented in as well away. And usually they just stick out on the side of the player rather than actually be inside the actual application because they're, they're not actually officially supported applications. Like I like there's an I like bar for me Media Player and iTunes, but it just sticks out next. Like it sticks itself onto the application of iTunes or Windows Media Player, where the add-on these are aren't extra applications or plugins. These are actual add-ons, just like you'd have in Firefox. So they're right there, right in the player, which I like. So I suppose there's not really much all I can say about it. Just got I got the some download links in the sidebar for Windows and Mac and then I've got a demo link for Linux which is the installer package because if you download it from getsongbird.com like you do with Windows and Mac and you get a, a tarball so it's um, similar to a to a dot zip in Windows and it's they're just extremely hard to install in Linux which I discovered myself when I installed this program in Linux and then I found out later there, there was an installer package on it on one of Ubuntu's actual websites so I'll post the Ubuntu installer version of the Linux version if you know what I mean so that's easier so just if you want to look at the links for all three operating systems in the sidebar well Windows, Mac and Ubuntu not Linux but Ubuntu anyway you can get the Linux version off the website like I said but it's a terrible but most of you, if you're on Linux, you're probably on Ubuntu anyway, so check out the Ubuntu installer. And that's pretty much all I have to say. So.